On the 5th September 2022, Russian Pacific Fleet ships and People's Liberation Army Navy ships began to conduct joint naval exercises in the Sea of Japan, performing live fire exercises, mine detection and submarine hunting. The area of training located between the Russian and Japanese coastlines was close to all civilian shipping in the Sea of Japan. Over a thousand miles away, the USS Ronald Reagan Carrier Strike Group 5 was gathered in the Philippine Sea, located somewhere between Taiwan and Guam. The Carrier Strike Group conducted a range of exercises including carrier-based airstrikes, strike force escort mission training, as well as ship battle group and intelligence collection operations. On the 15th September 2022, the Russian and Chinese ships conduct the second joint policing in the Pacific Ocean, around the Sea of Japan and the Sea of Okhotsk. For information, the first joint policing exercise was held in October 2021. In a joint statement by Moscow and Beijing, they said, the tasks of the patrols involve the strengthening of naval cooperation between Russia and China, upholding peace and stability in the Asian Pacific region, coastal monitoring and safeguarding Russian and Chinese nautical economic sites. Chinese fleet expansion and the relatively new and developing joint Russian and Chinese naval cooperation will add further complexity to a region that has seen the Chinese Navy become a formidable military force within China's near seas region and its push in more distant waters, including the broader waters of the Western Pacific, the Indian Ocean and waters around Europe. Уважаемые товарищи, мы рады приветствовать экипажи боевых кораблей военно-морских сил народно освободительной армии Китая на совместном морском патрулировании. Although the exact number of Russian and Chinese ships involved in this exercise are unclear, we can see from the pictures it is significant enough to cause some concern to the governments of Japan and Taiwan. The United States Navy 7th Fleet, Task Force 70, a battle force of 7th Fleet, had a few weeks earlier ordered the USS Ronald Reagan Carrier Strike Group 5 the US Navy's only four deployed aircraft carrier strike group to remain in the vicinity of Taiwan in response to missile launches conducted in August 2022 by China, which in turn responds to Speaker of the United States House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. Carrier Strike Group 5 is based out of Yokosuka, Japan.
Carry Strike Group 5 includes three Ticonderoga class cruisers and Destroyer Squadron 15 CDS 15, which serves as the Sea Combat Commander and is responsible for seven assigned Harley Burke class destroyers. Which is understood there are a total of eight Harley Burke class destroyers based at Yokosuka, Japan. Carrier Strike Group 5 is also joined by Japan's JS Terazuki DD116, a Kazuki class destroyer, which is no stranger to the Carrier Strike Group, having previously excised the American ships on several occasions. The US Navy in recent years has taken a number of actions to counter China's naval modernization efforts. Among other things, the US Navy has shifted a greater percentage of its fleet to the Pacific signing its most capable new ships and aircraft and its best personnel to this vast area. The US Navy has also combined some of its carrier strike groups with other nations' carrier strike groups in a large-scale demonstration of joint naval power with their allies. Japan has started the conversion of her helicopter carriers to fixed wing carriers. And the Royal Navy's carrier Queen Elizabeth in 2021 conducted her first carrier group operations in the Pacific region. This followed the British government's commitment to increase her naval presence in the region. The UK's second Queen Elizabeth class carrier, HMS Prince of Wales, will become fully operational in 2023. Japan has embarked on an ambitious shipbuilding program to counter China's naval build-up. Japan plans to replace its aging fleet with a high-tech modern fleet with improved offensive capabilities of the fleet's weaponry. It's a significant shift in naval strategy from its previous defensive stance in place since the end of the Second World War. Japan is already building new ships. Seen here is her newest Navy vessel, the fifth built of a planned 22 vessels, the Megami-class multi-role frigate Yahaji. FFM-5. Japan has announced it will build two of the largest, most technically advanced surface warships in Asia. Each ship will weigh about 20,000 tonnes with a length of 690 feet. These ships fitted with the Aegis combat system, radar and SM-3 missile interceptors progresses Japan's defence capabilities. This new dawn of Japanese naval might will only partly address the imbalance against Chinese naval firepower. Seen here is Chinese Navy ship Heng Shui, a Type 054 frigate. As an example, since 2008, China has already built 30 of these ships alone, pushing the total Chinese Navy fleet closer to 400 vessels. With Russian and Chinese fleets now beginning to excise together, we will likely see Japanese, Australian, Korean, New Zealand and British naval forces further developing combined multinational naval exercises of American carrier strike groups within the Indo-Pacific region.